Hey guys, Joe Sarge with Keep Pushing Through, and today we're asking the question, what is a diet? Well, as a verb, we know it's the restriction of food in the hopes to lose weight. But in those famous words of Costa Portacales, Give me a word. Any word, and I show you how the root of that word is Greek. See, the word diet was actually derived from the Greek word diatan, which is loosely translated as a way of life. It was used by physicians to not just refer to the type of food that you ate, but your lifestyle. That being said, we're all on a diet as being we all have our own way of life. The real question is, is it a healthy one? Let's go. Starting a new healthy lifestyle can be daunting, especially if it's done incorrectly. Most people believe that the best way to do it is the one that's going to yield the quickest results. And because of this, they seem to jump right in with both feet and decide, well, this is the life I'm going to live now. They'll make decisions like, well, I'm going to give up pop and pizza and cake, and I'll start exercising every day, and all I'm going to drink is water and eat salads. Now, these aren't bad goals to set for yourself over the course of time, but you're setting yourself up for failure when you're trying to attempt them all at once. The problem is this is too much change too soon. Remember, this is a journey, not a shortcut. And although it's the unpopular opinion, it needs to take time. You're rebuilding a new you, and it didn't take a little bit of time to get to where you are now. There's no logical reason to believe that the correct way to lose weight and become healthier is going to be a fast process. It's okay to go the way of the tortoise, and remember, slow and steady wins the race. Now it's time to get to the good stuff on how I started shedding fat, gaining muscle, and most importantly, developing the strong will that was needed to make changes happen in my life. As I said in a past video, I was blessed with having a client who happens to be my brother who owns his own business teaching kids physical fitness, mental strength, and nutrition, all of which he's studied since he's been in his teens. His business is called TKS Athletics, and for more information on them, you can check the link I'll have on the screen now. The mental aspect is what he pushes most in his training, and for good reason. We're our worst critics. We're also our biggest obstacles when we try to obtain a goal. In fact, accomplishing goals has to be practiced on smaller levels before we can achieve the greater ones. For instance, want to own a business? You have to graduate high school. You have to graduate college. You have to find a job in the meantime. You have to be able to establish credit, secure a loan, and find a place for the best location. All smaller goals that need to be achieved before you can actually get to your ultimate goal of owning your own business. And I assure you, there's plenty more small goals that need to be obtained before you're owning your own business. So Joe, what does any of this have to do with my diet? Well, I'll tell you. A healthy lifestyle is the same way with the mentality behind it being just as important. But the best part is, for every goal obtained, there's a sense of reward and gratification that's going to motivate you to move on to the next goal. So ask yourself, what is my smallest setback in my eating habits that I can ease out of? Is it pop? You could try flavored water. I personally drink Nestle Splash. Some may contest the additives in it for its flavoring. However, I can almost guarantee it's going to be a much healthier alternative than soda. Is it pizza? Maybe you have a regular pizza night every week. Perhaps going to an every other week option is, is an idea. And when you do order, you can always go with the extra thin crust, extra veggies. Stay away from the greasy meats and extra cheeses. And if you really want to go the extra mile, find yourself a good recipe for a cauliflower or chicken crust pizza. Trust me, it's well worth the time and effort if it's done correctly. Maybe your downfall is cake or sweets. You can eat cake. I wouldn't want to live in a world where you couldn't. Plus, chocolate is basically another food group in my mind. But you have to control yourself. A small piece of cake or a portion of a candy bar. And do yourself a favor. When you're done with whatever sweet it might be, have a nice glass of water. You're going to find that it cleanses the palate and is going to remove any sweetness that's going to bring about another urge to have more. So the takeaway here is to find yourself an alternative for that one area of difficulty that's easiest to defeat. It may take a week, it may take a month, but what's important is that you actually make it. Again, there's a reason why I named this channel Keep Pushing Through. So next we're going to talk about an area that everyone knows is important when it comes to losing weight and living a healthy lifestyle. Calories. Of course. It's simple mathematics. In order to lose weight, you have to consume less calories than what your body burns on a daily basis. This is why nutrition is a far more important aspect than exercise alone when it comes to losing weight. Yes, I know counting calories is a pain in the ass, but this is where living in a world of so much technology is so advantageous. 
using an app like the one I do called Lose It, which can be found on the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store, just look for this icon, I'm able to scan barcodes on packages and have the nutritional information put directly into the app for me in a mere moment. Also, after entering all the necessary data, it does all the math for you and will give you the option for your weight loss goals on a weekly basis, as well as the recommended number of calories you should be taking in, in a day. Also, if you happen to have regular meals on a daily basis, you can easily go to the prior day on your app, click it, and it will automatically put all of the food from your prior day into your current day's log. You don't have to sit there and log each food individually. But regardless of what app you use, or how much of a pain it is to count calories, if you're not in a caloric deficit, you will not lose weight. So that's it for this week. Here's your homework. Figure out which is your easiest goal to achieve and start coming up with a plan of attack to achieve it. You'll be doing this with every goal, so practicing with the easiest is just going to be beneficial. Find a good calorie counting app. Lose it is the one I use, but my fitness pal is also a fan favorite. Fitbit also offers the same services, but works best with one of their devices. I hope you guys found this information helpful, and if you did, be sure to click the subscribe button below. Also, ring the bell to be sure that you get notified every time I put new content on my channel. Until then, this is Joe Sarge helping you along the path of your new healthy way of life, while encouraging you to keep pushing through. Take care.